Hey everyone, happy Friday. It's Coach D. I just got off my last coaching call of the week and I'm ready to recharge this weekend for sure. Uh, so my last coaching call um, is is a client that we, we do calls each week, just once a week, and we set some weekly targets, we chat about things. So a lot of it is in terms of, of healthy lifestyle practices and um, implementing more more time for himself. Um, he and his wife, who I, who I also do coaching calls with are just amazing human beings and they are very, very good at putting everyone else first. And so that's what we've been working on since we started working together is, is the ability to say no to things so that they can put themselves and their health first. So he was going through five to six weeks of just absolute chaos with work in terms of drained, like his mood was, was uh, down, uh, his energy was down, he was being overworked, all kinds of stuff. And, uh, but the last few weeks, it's, it's calmed down a bit, but he's also beginning to say no to things. And he's, and he's saying, you know, this is my time and I'm making sure I get my time. So long story short, um, he's been the last few weeks, he, he, he loves getting out on his bike. And so he's got out on his bike, he's hit our weekly volume targets we've been uh, figuring out together. And, um, so at, towards the end of our conversation this week, which was really good, cause he said his energy's up and he's, he's feeling much better. You can tell his mood has improved everything. Um, he said the body's feeling better physically. He said he, he's not sure why, but he's not getting his resistance exercise in that he was just doing a few things here and there. Um, uh, but he said, he's trying not to worry about that because he feels good. And I said, yes, it was, it was a huge aha moment. I, I guess for me, because he had the aha moment, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm putting that right. This is where many clients have seen it several times. I've, I've done it myself where we get caught in this trap of thinking we have to do everything or we have to be perfect in our planning. Or, you know, if we say we're going to do this, it, it has to happen in that exact way. No. So he's the, the last two to three weeks, he's hit all his biking targets that we've set out for him. His energy's increased. He physically feels better. His mood's increased. Um, he's saying no to things. He's putting himself first above all else. Why do we have to screw with that, right? So I reminded him that, yes, don't stress about getting the resistance in. And I said, you know, even if we don't even get it in until we start doing some in-person stuff together come the fall or whenever we decide to start, maybe you're a few months out before you even... Uh, add that into your weekly routine. That's totally fine because you're feeling great. When when we do whatever health practice is you do, whatever activity it is that you enjoy, if you're feeling good, don't screw around with that. You don't need to change anything if you're feeling good. That's the goal that we all want is to feel healthy and happy and to have lots of energy and to be in a good mood more often than not. We don't have to screw with that if that's what's happening. So it was just one of those uh, prime examples of if something's not broken, don't fix it, right? It's that old saying. So take that thought into the weekend with you and have a wonderful weekend. It's going to be beautiful weather. Get outside, do some movement, have some fun with friends and family because things are starting to become normal uh, again and uh, just enjoy yourselves this weekend.